Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Did go hang out today. Um. The gang has gathered. The NC gang has gathered. Um. Almost in an emergent fashion. Uh, Because there was some news this week that rocked us to our core, and it inspired this chat. Um, But before we get started, uh, I wanted to um, say another congratulations to our latest NC Gives Marvelous Giveaway winner. Megan. Laveau, I believe is her name. She's from Denver. And um, I let her know that we'll be shipping her awesome prize on Monday. Whoop, whoop. So, congrats to Megan. Woo-hoo. Yay! Golf claps. We also want to mention that we are our next giveaway is going to be strictly for Canadians. Yay! Yay. So, we know a f- quite a few people have been asking for um, a Canada prize. So... You lovely Canadians will get a chance to win um, some fun stuff. Uh, Janine is going to head down to Cali and uh, pick up some some goods from a fellow nerd who is willing to donate some of his stuff. And we'll get a a nice care package out to an awesome Canadian winner. And hopefully maybe we'll do two giveaways um, for for Canada since we've done two U.S. giveaways. Uh But I'll help with Janine on the next. Depends on what I am collecting. Yes, and yeah. I think I think Ferdy has got a bit bit of stuff, so I think we'll be able to to um to spread those out a bit so that we can go kind of more back and forth U.S. ways. That's where we're gonna go with um uh, NC news for today or announcements, I should say, because um, our major topic for today is um, Nerd HQ. Zach, and I are a fearless leader. It's t- this week, that uh, HQ was not going to be happening in its traditional sense, as we know it, and um, the shockwaves heard all across the social meets. So, um, we wanted to talk about our, you know, initial reactions, and we have a very large nerd family, so just kind of what we were seeing, and ultimately what we think a true nerd HQ enthusiast a rather inclusion while others did not. So um let's discuss. <laughs> let's go around the table and talk about our initial response to the news, to said news. Starting with Jamie and then Rachel and then Janine and then me. Well when Zach released the video, I was just getting out of work, and I had errands to run after work. So I went, and I did my shopping, and then I went and picked up Ayla. And then as soon as I got home, I saw that I had, like, 50 bazillion notifications. <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> what is happening? And Rich is like, check the chat! No HQ! And I'm like, what? <laughs> and immediately my heart just dropped. Because I thought, you know, I thought they weren't going to be doing anything that HQ was never going to happen again. And I was in panic mode and I was just so sad and heartbroken. And then I took a moment and I was like, it's fine. We're all still going to be there together. The heart of what HQ is is still going to be there. It's fine. And then I actually watched the video, and I was like, okay, I feel better now. (laughs) So, I went through the various stages from, oh dear God, what's happening, to, it's fine. (laughs) It just sounds like you had a good drink. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I think Zach would appreciate that response. (laughs) Um, uh, Rach? Um, I was kind of in the same boat as Jamie. So I was in the same boat as Jams, and I found out the news about HQ through friends and 
the fam, the nerd fam. Um, so I hadn't seen the video that Zach posted, and my initial response was quite... I was quite upset initially. Um, and then when I watched the video, I absolutely felt awful for Zach because I know him and Dave and everyone who worked so hard to put on Nerd HQ really tried. And you can tell that they really tried every avenue. I was actually glad that they decided that if they weren't, if they didn't think that they could pull it off to the same extent as they have in the past years, that it was better to scale back and do what they could this year and hopefully in the future bring it back to the nerd HQ that we all know and love. But that is not stopping any of us from descending onto San Diego and having our own big fat nerd party in the middle of the streets. <laughs> like nerd vultures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> nerd vultures. Rawr. Ah. Um because, I mean, honestly, without Nerd HQ, we would have, I don't think we would have ever met. Nope. We wouldn't be talking to you right now. There wouldn't be our blog and all the fun stuff that we post. So we owe a big, huge debt of gratitude to Zach and, and Dave and everyone at, at the Nerd Machine. Mm-hmm. Jen? Well... I was post night shift. So I had my phone on my ringtone on, but for some reason my phone decided that also meant turn on all the notifications to vibrate. <laughs> you look you up, didn't you? That was like the dirtiest. I was post I was napping up on my post night and and all I could hear was buzz, buzz. Buzz. <laughs> Pause for like two, three seconds. It goes buzz, buzz. I'm like, oh my god, please, please let it not be work calling me. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll check my phone. I'm like, no missed phone calls. What's going on? Open the message. All I see are crying emojis. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like a bajillion million exclamation marks. And I'm like. Oh, dear Lord, who died? Someone must have died. Oh, God. Uh-oh, who is it? And then I'm scrolling back up through the messages. And it's hard because all the new incoming messages were coming in. And so it kept sending me back down. As I'm trying to, like, figure out what's going on. And then I was just like, what happened? I gave up. I'm trying to read back read. It's like, I was like, what happened? So I'll go watch it. I'm like, okay, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> so I found it on YouTube and then when he said there isn't going to be an HQ I was just like oh dear god oh no so this is what all the crying is about and then he mentioned but stay tuned within the next few weeks for more news coming out because we'll try to do some stuff while we're in San Diego and I'm like oh so basically it's still on it's just not going to be at the Children's Museum and it's not going to be officially like it the HQ that we all have come to know it as. And I'm like, why is everybody crying? It's all good. (laughs) (laughs) I'm still going to San Diego. (laughs) So I went from, oh God, someone's dying to, oh dear Lord. All right, it's okay. (laughs) (laughs) We're good. Just full circle. Goodbye. (laughs) Guys, why'd you have to wake me up from my nap? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then went back to napping for a bit. So I ended up not really having, or I wasn't able to have a an, a proper reaction to it because I started watching the video and then I started getting all the messages on our Twitter, and just that that the initial conversation, man, this sucks, to quickly turning to, oh my god, how are we going to make this happen? <laughs> Um, cause a, a large number of us usually, um, whenever we go to San Diego, we all stay together at an Airbnb or something of the sort. So I was making sure, cause I knew quite a bit of us were not going to cancel anyway. And a lot of us have non-refundable trips in the first place. So I just started immediately, I immediately transitioned to, 
I never really got a chance to to have an emotional response to it um, until after the fact because I know I know I must really disappoint Zach to not deliver to his own standards because he's super hard on himself. We all know this. Mm-hmm. And he takes pleasing his fans extremely seriously. So any news at all that he would even consider one person who matters to him as even a slight bit of disappointment, I'm sure he's taking it ten times harder than everyone else is. So in turn, you know, seeing some of the responses that people were sending to him and the Nerd Machine and and, um, Dave about, you know, wish you guys would have said this sooner, we have to cancel stuff, or we can't cancel this, or this is the only reason why I was going, or, you know, blah, 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 and giving him grief about it. Um, I understand it's an inconvenience, but you're missing the point of HQ, if that's what you're worried about, in all honesty. Yep. So... Um, by all means, cancel. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so we're not, all of us on the outside of the organization and all the work that actually goes into making the event was the major contributing factor to it, to it not happening to the degree that it normally does. But there's, a, there's been a lot of assumptions out there, including the fact that there are many events that are not happening this year due to venue prices um, seemingly having spiked or other events um, having having claimed previous venues, so they're no longer available. So re- whatever the, the reason is, it is an exceptionally unique event at San Diego Comic-Con and all the other events that take place during that time because all of the rest of the events that take place are usually self-serving and are for profit. HQ is for charity. HQ is a staple and has been a staple event at San Diego Comic-Con for many years. And I recommend that the city of San Diego or someone at San Diego Comic-Con help HQ find a an established venue to keep it consistent because this is basically taking away thousands of dollars, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars, from Operation Smile. And that's not good karma. So... If San Diego doesn't want an earthquake to sink it in the middle of the ocean, like, way, then I think something should happen. <laughs> um, it's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> it's supposed to be kind of funny. Um, I mean, I don't have to worry about it. I live in Texas. But um, in all seriousness, like, it's just, it's kind of frustrating if, if, if it's any of that kind of... Um, Obstacle? That shouldn't be an obstacle. Like they should technically just be given a venue. In all honesty, I understand everyone's trying to make a nice penny, but have some perspective. Really. Um. But anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. We really don't know what what all's going on. We just know that Zach and Dave are probably going to do their best to make whatever happen even if it's a small thing it'll be an awesome small thing because that's what they do they like to give and produce awesome (laughs) so and i'm sure there'll be some sort of charity element involved i'm sure that zach will find a way to have some sort of operation smile related do it keep going so bring your monies and donate and i think shannon um, our Fox, Shannon Fox on Twitter, will be um, also organizing something for Operation Smile. So save some bucks. Keep your eyes and ears open. Nerd it forward. Mm-hmm. For everything that you plan to buy at San Diego Comic Con, think of donating. It'll just bring you good things. The universe will, will pay it back. 
Um, we, we wanted to really focus on the positivity of HQ and what it represents and what it means to us. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been an important thing in all of our lives. Um, it's just, it's had an impact. I know there's some, there's a lot of people outside of the nerd community that don't really understand the con going experience and the community and all of that. And they just think it's, um, it's a form of escapism, which it is because the world is not the best at the moment, but it's more, it's more than just escapism. It is, it is a style. It keeps us sane or at least that may just be me. Um, <laughs> it keeps me from um, going to dark places. Uh, and um, having incidents, as Janine knows the term. Yeah, we don't want any incidents. We don't want incidents. <laughs> no, no, that's a no-go. Yeah. Um, no. Sorry, inside joke. But, um... Yeah, so we wanted to just kind of go around the table again and just give our our favorite moment um, of HQ and what it means to us. And uh, so, favorite HQ moments. There are so many. It's hard to narrow it down to just one because HQ means so much to all of us. And there are so many memories and moments that are going to stay with all of us forever. But more recently, I would have to say my favorite moment was all of us planning out our Once Upon a Time cosplay a year in advance. Um, updating each other as we went along on our progress and then finally getting to see all of us dressed up getting ready together in the morning it was just such an overwhelming awesome experience to do that with all of you and then it was like kismet because we had planned on doing our cosplay that Saturday all along we had no idea if there was actually going to be a once upon a time panel or a Jennifer Morrison panel we just planned to do it that Saturday and then we found out that she was going to do a panel and it was Saturday so it was like it was just meant to be so it was just awesome that we all got to go to it together we all got to sit together in the same row and she she noticed us and Zach's face when he noticed all of us and, and not just Michelle in her aerial costume. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so amazing and then oh. getting to have our picture taken with her and donate a smile was just the icing on the cake. I I loved it. That yeah. was that was a wonderful experience to share with all of you. That that was actually an amazing feat too cuz just to think like how many people were in the cosplay group and that we managed to get an entire row after Have you all like bought yeah. tickets and they were all in the same freaking row. What the hell? <laughs> all just like one number after each other that was the best bit mm -hmm. that's called H hq hq magics yeah. kids magical things happen at hq mm -hmm. oh and the fact that like genmo was like in awe of us while we were mm. in awe of her mm. Mm. she was yeah. looking fierce in that dress yes yeah, she was mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna miss her on yeah but I'm still in season two. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, catch I haven't had time to catch up yet. Uh, Rach, what about you? I have a million, so bear with me. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I do, but I'm not going to bore you guys. Um, let's see. I think it, it's, it, I, th I feel 
feel like the little moments at HQ are the ones that really stick with me the most. Um, kind of like sitting down and listening to Papa D talk stories about how proud he is of his kids and how exciting it is to be at HQ or, you know, just hanging out at the photo booth and taking a ton of photos with, with the nerds. Um, and I guess like one of my favorite things was, and we just, we all got our individual photos with him and, uh, there wasn't a line and we all decided to just do one big group photo and we got in there just in time and we got to thank Zach for starting this nerd illusion and the fact that we got to meet each other out of, out of HQ. So yeah, those are, those are my, my fond memories. Yeah. Like Rach says, there's like a million and one moments. Basically the entire experience is the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. So if anything, despite the whole, like, yes, you know, you get to go and sit in on a panel and, you know, maybe meet your favorite celebrity. But honestly, it's, it's, it's when you know that there's, there's going to be last minute panels and we're all sitting there and it's like, why am I still refreshing this page? Even though it says it's sold out. And then... And then, and then ultimately you're like, oh my god, I have a ticket. Oh my god, no, it's two tickets. Who's gonna come with me? And then you figure out, you know, it's, it's things like that where it's like, okay, oh my god, there's a push notification for smiles for smiles for somebody. Let's all rush and line up, <laughs> or just start a line for no reason because we hope there's a smile <laughs> with Sesame Street <clears throat> because we're all big kids like that and. You just know that you have to have your picture taken with Grover. So, <laughs> you know, it's it's things like that where you just, you go in there and you make friends for life. That's the best part. And it's just photo, any photo booth, for that matter, that was available and claiming it's yours for the entire weekend and taking, like, 20 album full worthy quantities of photos yeah we need like 10 more copies of this photo and 15 more copies of this one and wait who else is missing one because you have such a large nerd family everybody has to have their own copy and not gonna lie the band-aids were for last year too <laughs> i really like the band-aids Especially when, fell... the best ever. Especially when you fell, and were the best ever. Especially when you fell and skinned your knee. I love yeah, the Star Wars one. Was... There was that the wipeout too, so those came in extra handy. Yep. Yeah, I had a mega wipeout. <laughs> yeah. But but kids were like way cooler than those five. No. <laughs> Um, do you remember when we took a picture at the photo booth and we literally kicked Spider-Man out of his photo booth? We did. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And we had like no Spider-Man shame about it too. Awesome. It was like, we kind of just want a photo of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the best part of HQ for me is like those kinds of things. And yeah, okay, sure. You know what? Yeah, you get to, you might run into... Like, people like Papa D, who's, like, in their own right, a celebrity on his own because he's Papa D. You cannot not talk to Papa D when you see him and say hi and, like, spend a good 30 to 45 minutes just talking about anything, everything under the sun. And you don't even realize it. That time has fallen away. And you're just like, oh, crap. I have to run to this thing. Yes. But it's, it's the non-celebrities that are my favorite. It's, it's the people that I've met through the HQ um, and Nerd House and even everybody else who's not staying at the Nerd House where we all converge in Disneyland at the end of the whole con. You try to do a huge-ass group picture and you're still missing people. 
hey, more people are still coming after, and you like keep <laughs> taking a group picture trying to get everybody in it. Like, One more little picture. Things, that's my favorite part of HQ. And I'm done. <laughs> For now. Well, um, yes. I agree tenfold with what everyone says, and it is the most important thing, just the connections that we all made through HQ. Um, I think my favorite memory is probably our first day Zach's panel, and letting him know that we had all met. Um, that was the in, in kind of initial big thing. And just how, how cute and wide-eyed and happy he was to hear that. And you, you can tell how much it means to him having an impact. So I think that's his, that's what makes it all worthwhile for him. Um, so, yeah, I think um, it's just kind of re restating what everyone has said. It's just the, the connections are the most important thing. The fact that we all met is a, is a feat in itself because we're from all over, all over the world. And we wouldn't have met otherwise. And we all met digitally, which in itself is just crazy. <laughs> the statistics were stacked against us. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, there's a lot of us. Like, there's got to be some sort of shadiness going on in there. And we don't, we, but we got lucky because there's none. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that we know of. That we know dun, 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 dun. of. There. <laughs> we don't know what the future holds, but so far, so good. And um, no one's crazy, so. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Yeah, uh, really. no, yeah. I mean, in a go to jail sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> in a psycho killer kind oh, of way. Stay out of my yeah. shit. I mean, just with Jane and I, I mean, taking a chance. It's like girls from freaking Northern Ireland. And it's like, you know, I mean, I had never met her before. We were like, you need a roommate? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't know anything about me, and I know she was thinking, for my goodness, you can cut me up into tiny little pieces and no one would know. <laughs> <laughs> but it all worked out, so. I think it kind of helped, it kind of helped, though, that a bunch of us, a bunch of us did that video that, that Sandrine put together, so we all kind of got to see each other somewhat beforehand, yeah. so I think that kind of mm -hmm. helped. Yeah, no, it did, it did help for sure. There was, there was always, I mean, you get gut feelings about people, so you can get a sense of, you know, someone's vibe, I guess, and, um, you know, you just gotta listen to your spidey sense, and everyone was, just seemed really nice and super cool, and, and they were, and we got lucky. And, uh, here we are. And it's been, what, th four years? <laughs> I lost count. Years? It's entering the fourth. Yeah, okay. 14, 14 was our first year, I believe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we're entering the four, our fourth year. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's a forever relationship, and, uh, HQ is always there. HQ is HQ may ch may change in venue, style, size, whatever, but the fundamental core that is HQ is will always be there. And yeah. that's the most important thing. So it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter if it's not the crazy big thing that it's been the past few years. It just it is what it is. And if that's all you're there for, then you missed the point. So, well, come to the light side. We'll 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 make you realize what it's really about if you're interested. Um, yes. Yes. Oh, wait, I was just going to say. Yeah, the more yeah. you're, the more the merrier. But you have to be in it for the non-superficial reasons, because all the superficial stuff is just the cherry on top. That's not the point. Yeah, so, those are just the perks. Come get some substance. 
we have a plenty. There's a, an abundance. So, and have a conversation with Papa D for sure. That's that will be your winning prize. Mm-hmm. And um, you'll walk away with a lot. Just a lot. So, yeah. Come, come for Papa D. Stay for Zach. <laughs> <laughs> And Dave, because Dave does a lot of the legwork too. Yeah. Yes. Um, and there's going to be a nerd dance party in the middle of the streets of San Diego if we have to. Watch out too. Buddy, there's at least one nerd out there who is bringing tunes. So. I'm bringing saying. some dance moves. They're sad, <laughs> but they're dance moves. <laughs> All right, so on that note, we um, bid you adieu, and uh, we'll um, we'll chat again. We'll we'll see y'all again soon, and we have um, we'll do some San Diego posts, of course. We'll be at D twenty three. Yay! Yeah. yeah, we're doing a Cheers, nerds crap ton of cosplay this year. Mm-hmm. Oh dear God! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so my entire luggage is cosplay. <laughs> almost. Yeah, I'm luggage. still trying to figure out how I'm going to fit everything into my carry-on suitcase. Yeah. yeah. So any 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 professional cosplayers have any tricks and tips? Stuff it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me get my pen and paper. Stuff it in. There. I. Ooh, that sounds good. But I've got to figure out how to fit a giant squirrel tail into my <laughs> luggage. I'm just imagining like customs, not customs, but like the the airport security. security looking through the X-ray, going, "Ma'am, what is that? <laughs> Why do you have taxidermy with you?" Um. Please don't cut this out. This needs to be in it. <laughs> and this time around. I might even pull out our Snapchat. We might post some snaps on our what? Snapchat. What? What? I know. You can thank. You can thank my little bro for um, annoyingly bugging me to start Snapchatting because he tells me it's the only way I can keep track of his life and it's the only way he can keep track of my life. Don't ask me why. I, I honestly don't use it that often, but... For D23 and San Diego Comic Con, watch out, nerds. Nerdy Curious is on Snapchat. What? <laughs> <laughs> We've always had the account. We've just never used it. We haven't even used Instagram consistently since, like, forever ago. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I might give Facebook Live a shot. I love the little Snapchat while we're down there. The snaps. Wow. The snaps. We've gone off the deep end. Yeah, because it's okay, nerds. We'll be seeing you soon, and make sure to uh, follow us on all the social medias to stay. I was gonna say something, and it sounds really bad, so I'm gonna change the word that I was just gonna say. Um, Connected. (laughs) Sure, let's go with that. (laughs) Um, yes to stay connected and stay informed there we go let's go with that um and yeah just uh make sure you join us on our nerdy adventures uh we're we are preparing for july so i think it's going to be kind of quiet uh we're going to have our our regular post we can um there may be some gaps in there just as things start to get really hectic so um, but be patient with us and keep an eye out for Janine's Canadian um, giveaway, which I'll help you with, Jen, once you get all the stuffs. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and yeah. Find out this weekend. Yay! So, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see all you guys later.